We've been here on Padre Island National Seashore for about three weeks now. And at this campground, the Bird Island Basin, for over a week, but we just decided to turn the bus around to get a whole completely different view out the front windows of the bus. This whole time, we've had the front window view facing like the marshland and the inner dunes of the island. But now, we're gonna turn around to where the front window view can be of the water. Sorry, I have to move out of the way right now. And this is where the sun sets also. So we're definitely excited to get the upgraded view. It's ridiculous how exciting this is right now, just turning the bus around. <laughs> it's the small things in life when you live on the road, I'm telling you. <laughs> a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Right there is good. Perfect. Nice front door view of the water. I mean, ocean front view, right? Oh, and now it's all quiet and wonderful again. Way better. I know. I can't believe how excited I am right now that we just turned the bus around. To just sit there driving up and just seeing a bunch of water was awesome. I know, man. huh? It feels so like we good. just got to a new spot. I know. <laughs> and then we come in like in the morning, come out, drink coffee, and just be looking out. Over I know. The water. Yeah. So much better. campsites paid for and everything like that. You know, I thought this thing was just going to be a toy, but I use it like a lot to go explore things real fast and to check on stuff take garbage out like this thing is cool man unfortunately he's getting a lot less exercise ever since he got this <laughs> okay so here's our new improved parking spot our new improved outdoor sunset viewing area our picnic table beachside picnic table and from the indoors this is our front window view. Very nice. I, I can't believe we didn't park this way the whole time. So Mike is going on a little kayak adventure with our neighbor. That's right. What you and I'm having a little beverage. Aaron. Of the Darren? adult nature. Theron. Right. And our friend Darren. I think I've got the right idea here. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah, if, anytime you want to use it, man, they're just sitting here. So I, think your wife, your friend, whoever. I just got these not that long ago oh, yeah. from, uh, uh, from a friend of mine. Yeah. Had them in the garage store. I just don't want to get rid of them. I'm like, I'm that guy. Yep. <laughs> there goes the water babies. They love it. They are having the time of their lives on the water out here. Me? I'm having the time of my life on the shore. Let me introduce you to my little friend. There's a little hermit crab that lives under the water over here. And he just stays in this area. I keep coming back and he's always here every time I look for him. Okay, let's see if you guys can see this. He's somewhere, I think that's him right there. And I think you can see him moving and crawling right now. Isn't that cool? He's my little buddy. Man, he's just like in four-wheel drive on the ocean floor right now. Nothing can stop him. He is unstoppable. And we get sick beats at sunset because the camp host here is a drummer. I'm like, I'm talking like hand drums. We heard him on Thanksgiving and Mike thought somebody was just playing a CD. But 
It's actually live, in person, right here at the Bird Island Basin Campground, live, in concert. It's Derek! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great, man. Thank you. So if you've been watching the channel, you probably know by now that I love all the little creatures. There's also these crabs that are, I guess they're land crabs. So they clean out their little crab holes and they leave these little sand balls over the beach. Look how cute this is. There's his little crab hole. And then they make thousands of these little tiny balls of sand when they clean out their hole. They make some big balls too. I don't know the difference between the big sand balls and the small sand balls, but there's thousands and thousands of thousands of them on the ground here. It's so funny. Over here, it's like a whole crab apartment complex with all kinds of holes all over the place. And again, thousands of those little crabby sand balls everywhere. So weird. It's so funny to see the things the little critters do that, I don't know, that I've just never seen before. I grew up in Arizona. I would never see crab balls on the beach. <laughs> well, that sounded bad, didn't it? Hi, Hans. How's it going, guys? Super great. Did you go around the island again? Sure did. It was a great little paddle, and the sunset was epic. Are you a little bit chilly now? Can't get any better. Not even. I know. Oh, it's... really? Yeah. Well, we've been exercising. Uh, just yank it up here. Uh. Another great day paddling. That was really cool. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I told them they could use it anytime they want. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah, they're just sitting here. Yeah, we're not using them hardly at all. She doesn't. She doesn't kayak because she can't swim. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> just don't fall overboard. I can swim. I just don't like to go swimming every day. Or not this year. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I've been swimming once since we've been here. No, twice. Once. Oh, that's twice. right. You did go on the twice water. on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Got yourself. Yeah, take me a little walk. You get you <laughs> I'm only laughing because I already walked to the wrong side of the bus earlier. <laughs> I'm completely loving the view right now, you guys. Look at this. This is spectacular. I can't believe we didn't park the bus this way the whole time. This is so much better. I was just getting ready to go outside and start a whole mosaicing project today to, to begin the work on finishing the bathroom mosaic. But when I went into my plate cupboard, I realized I did not have as much of a certain plate color as I thought I had. So we're gonna have to go thrifting and hope and cross our fingers that we can find the right color so I can get started on finishing this mosaic. We are on a mission. We're heading straight for the dishes. out on gray plates but I found a cute little fake succulent for the teacup mosaic that's been hiding in my closet <laughs> it's important while thrifting to fuel yourself with something preferably high in carbs and sugar like convenience store snack cakes <laughs> actually I just forgot to eat breakfast this morning so I'll be washing those down with what I'm sure is going to be a truly terrible gas station coffee well, I was right. The coffee is truly terrible. But these little pumpkin chocolate chip muffins are kind of delicious, especially for something prepackaged. So, not a bad little trip to the convenience store. We have 
found literally one gray plate. I guess that's right all color? we get. Um, it's close enough. It's not the exact same. Off the dust. Yeah, it's paler than this. But I don't think it's as pale as the other pale gray. I just need two shades of gray. That's the important thing. Okay. Or at least two. Like I could use three also, but I need at least two because it's for gray storm clouds. Right. Double score. I also found a new plate for Mamacita since we even broke the plastic one. But I don't know if I'm ever going to make it to the front of the line. Here's the moment of truth, whether, where we see whether this plate is darker than the other one or the same. Oh, it's darker. Oh, nice. That's good. All I needed was variation, so that totally works. How many more do we need to get? Um, you know, I might be able to do it with just this one. I mean, I guess I would just have to try it and see. Mm -hmm. My other handy tip for thrifting is to bring baby wipes for your hands because everything in the thrift store is filthy. Picked up a few more supplies for the mosaicing extravaganza. I can't believe we had the good fortune of finding a gray plate at the second store we went to. I mean, it would have been better to have found two, but I can work with one. But first of all, I have to make my pattern match the actual wall and what's already going on over here. So I'm just going to tape this up into place. The next step is to cover the brown craft paper with contact paper and then cut my mosaic mesh in exactly the same size and shape as the pattern. And then I start laying out my mosaic pieces to make the picture I want. And then the last step is to use an adhesive to glue each mosaic piece to the fiberglass mesh and then it should just peel away from the contact paper surface that's underneath it. I'm hoping this works because this is an entirely new technique for me. I've never used the fiberglass mesh before. If you've been watching the channel, you remember that I laid out my pieces and then put clear contact paper over the top of the pieces and pressed those into the adhesive. But um, I don't have an entire room to lay out my huge mosaic pieces anymore. We're traveling in the bus all the time, so I think my only option is gonna be to lay it out on the fiberglass mesh, and then I can either kind of fold or roll up the mesh pieces, and then I'll be able to um, mosaic them right onto the wall. So that's the plan. Probably gonna want to help you to help you get that on that straight. Or at least about bubbles. Yeah. Nice job. Really good applicator. Look at this, they're huge. <laughs> Told you. Oh my god, that's awesome! This is going to be big enough to do those big walls. My favorite part, the first break on a plate. Nice. Tink!
We're back at it again this morning, you guys. And we had a terrible scare. We thought that all of a sudden that we had to leave this campground today. Like right when I'm in the middle of laying out my mosaic pieces and before they're glued down. <laughs> but we got out the calendar and recounted the days and we have one more day here. So I have to finish this today get the pieces glued on and give the glue enough time to dry so I can pick this up or roll it up or whatever it's going to end up being so we can travel to our next place. How's it going, home shiner? Um, okay, a little bit slow, but I mean, that's part of the process. That's not good. down to my last few pieces of this gray so it's hard to make them work and fit into the spaces I need them to fit into when there's only a few, a few to choose from. Go check on Carrie. How's it going, Hans? I have a job for Scooter Boy. Uh oh, <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> well, the box is getting too full of scraps because it gets too heavy, so I need to dump it and you need to toss it. All right, I'm on it. What a helper. I am a helper. Oh, there, I think I got it now. Look at all that waste. 80 pounds. Pray to the plate gods. Ah, it's a bad sign. These plates are terrible. They're just, they're not breaking right. It's just ruining all my pieces. So now I'm not gonna have enough pieces to fill in all of this with blue and there's no possible way of getting more of this same plate. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do at this point. I don't have a backup plan. Mm. I end up just doing this instead. Pieces just get ruined anyway. I'm in the doldrums of the project at this point. <laughs> it just The project just keeps going and going and going. But at least we're making progress. Well guys, we're packing up to get out of here and uh, it requires a lot of stuff because we unpacked a lot when we got here.
water. We had to postpone actually applying the mosaic to the wall in there because it was so humid at the time that we um, adhered all of the pieces to the mosaic mesh that it took longer than the typical drying time. The, the packaging said 24 hours. We gave it 48 hours and it still wasn't completely set up. So now we have to figure out how to get this off the table and into the bus without messing anything up until we get to our next camp spot so then we can put it up on the wall. Here's how it looks so far. And I started practicing how to make some little stars and they're so funny. They're very imperfect and kind of wonky, but I love the personality, the character that they have. So, and this, um, the background isn't done here yet because this night sky is gonna be a different color than what was over here in the rest of the mosaic. And that's really the purpose for this lightning bolt right here is to divide like the two colors of plates because there's no way I was ever gonna find enough of one color of plate to finish that whole thing. So I had to be creative in making a dividing line from one color to the next. Oh, my mesh got kind of wonky here. See, some of it is still wet. All right. The ones that are dry, seems to come off really well, but the ones that are still wet are well, just... Well, when you pull it off, it'll dry. Streaming out. Yeah, sure. yeah, but I can't lay it down on anything with that wet gumminess. My only choice is just to leave it on this and peel this up and take these whole pieces. You can. Right now. I don't know how I'm gonna get this all at once. Okay, wait, I gotta get my stars off there. You could just grab it and peel that thing up, man. Okay, not so bad. Easy so far, easy. so good. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Kind of hangs off a little bit, but I think that'll do. Yeah, that's not bad. They're going to stay in place. Okay, so. Not perfect, but it'll have to do until we get where we're going and can stick it up on the wall. Yep, nice work. So you guys will get to see that next time. <laughs> <laughs>